YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Hey, Sunday night, made it home. As I told you, I would. Still got the load on my back. It's going to Texas. And, uh, man, I didn't even realize what the delivery time on that load was. I don't know who picked the delivery time, but for whatever reason, the load don't even deliver until the 19th. Today is the 16th, and Texas, where I'm going to, is seven hours away. So I don't know what that, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't book it. I didn't book it. You know, I'm just saying. It delivers on the 19th. Today is the 16th. I don't know, but whatever. Um, so just got home, man. I got a phone call earlier from African Mumba. He was right here in Memphis, wanted to meet up to look at some real estate over in South Memphis. And um, I wasn't here. If I would have known he was going to be here, I would have got here a lot earlier. Matter of fact, when I was in Atlanta at the truck wash, and I did that video, told y'all my trailer wasn't ready. Come to find out it was ready. It been ready. It's just um, the trailer was parked down the road at the overflow yard. So the tank wash I was here, apparently they had two yards. Well, they did have two yards. I didn't know it. I didn't know until I woke up, went inside and asked. I said, hey, man, I'm looking for this trailer. I still don't see it out here. Oh, did you check the overflow yard? That's where all the clean trailers are. I said, what the hell is that? They said, yeah, you just go down the street. You know what I'm saying? And it'd be down there on the left. You just, yeah, take that little, take that little one-way street. You know what I'm saying? And it'd drop down like 3% grade. You know, take all that. You know what I'm saying? It'd be somewhere up in there. And sure enough, I went down there. And it was right there. Looked like it had been sitting all motherfucking day. So, could have been home Saturday. But, like I said, I didn't know. They didn't have no signs out to say anything about a second yard. Or, I don't know how I was supposed to know that. But, that's what my trailer was. So, I um grabbed the trailer. Went to go get loaded over at Riceboro. And, um, got a cool little c c certification at that plant over there for one year. Usually when you're in this tank of hazmat world, anytime you go to these plants, um, you got to do a safety video and uh, get certified to be at the plant. Usually they will give you a one-year certification. So I done wrapped up. I don't know how many certifications, but, you know, I, it's in my truck, so I can't show you what it looks like. It's just a card to say you're good to come in for one year. That's all it is. But uh, we got loaded, and shoot, we sprinted back up here to the house and here we are at the house and come to find out the load don't even deliver to the 19th which uh, i'm fine with that i mean hey you know seven hours away i'm at the house so it really don't bother me got other stuff to do thought the stock market was gonna open tomorrow but apparently it's closed for uh holiday what holiday is it i think, it was, I think they said washington george washington birthday or something president birthday i'm not sure how to, i didn't know it was a holiday but it's closed for a holiday to my understanding, but um, still learning the stock game, still learning the options trading, and uh, like I told y'all, if y'all want to get into options trading, I use Robinhood, the app. Um, to me, right as of right now, is gambling. I know some of y'all said that uh, it's not gambling, but uh, I'm new to it. That's why I feel like it's gambling because I really I'm just risking. I'm just either it's either I'm betting on black or either I'm betting on red. It's either gonna go up or down or sideways, and you know I don't know which way it's gonna go. So, yeah, damn it, look like to me it's gambling. It look like I'm on a crap table rolling the dice and hoping for the best. So, I don't know. I don't know. Are you ready? Are y'all gonna train me? Are you gonna train me? I'm just saying. Comment below if you giving free lessons or so. You know, I'm just saying. It's, I see it is an extra source of income. That's the way I'm looking at it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm up. <laughs> Andrew is up, but I mean, I've been up and down at the same time. I mean, my friend lost, you know, $5,000 right in front of my eyes. And he was gambling for real, though. I ain't going to tell you who it was, but he was gambling for real. You know, he, man, that, that was, um, he he was gambling for real. We just gonna, he, yeah, I seen him lose that. Fast. That was that was gambling. That was uh, mm. he went all in on the poker table right there. It went sideways. Is what happened. It went sideways. He uh he had he had some contracts, and it didn't go up or down. It just went sideways until the contract ran out. So he 
it, you know, can't do nothing about that. But uh, that was that was that's what made me say it's gambling. But uh, me, I started with a little account, two hundred dollars. That's all I started with, and uh, I didn't work my way up to uh, I think I said like eight hundred dollars right now. So that's why I, I see it as a as an income. I ain't gonna lie, I've been watching some, uh, I watch Trucker Brown. Yeah, I watch Trucker Brown, you know, here on my Facebook, and I keep seeing this, these keywords, these uh, uh, hashtags, and I saw one hashtag, um, what did it say? Stock photography. And then, uh, you know, I'm hearing them talking about retiring, doing stock photography, and I, so I started looking into it. You know, it be nosy, because somebody getting some money, I need to know something about it. He reviewing these cameras. I need to know something else. So I looked at I, I looked it up. I'm sorry, I looked it up. I'm trying to figure out. Do he know something that I don't know? And apparently he do know something that I don't know. But now I do know. I got the information now. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm interested. In, you know, okay, I need to buy this type of camera. You know what I'm saying we're going to get the YouTube money. But then we're going to do this. These are uh, photos. It's photo gallery. Uh huh. Okay, go to put them on there. Put them for sale. Okay, on that web. Just give them the photos. You know what I'm saying? Over the course of time. Over the course of time. A couple of years. A couple of years. But income for a long term. I'm just saying, stock photography. I'm just saying, he knows something that we don't know. But now we know. You know what I'm saying? Because ever since Andrew got a, uh, you know, into this investment world, I'm looking at what everybody talking about. Oh, you usually stop photography, huh? Owning a truck, huh? Real estate, huh? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Options trading, forex. Okay, okay, Miss D. I see. Uh, okay, okay. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm trying to see who is getting to the money. You know what I'm saying outside of trucking. You know what I'm saying I'm not into the how to pay the sky dead to Jesus. You know what I'm saying. How to rent the goddamn truck, how to lease the trucks, how to make sure Scott Daddy Jesus got his motherfucking truck payment every Friday. I'm not into all that. I'm into who's getting money outside of trucking. That's what who's taking one source of income, investing in something else for more return. That's what I'm looking for. I'm saying African Mama called me earlier today. Like I said, he in Memphis. He wanted to go and look at some real estate in South Memphis. He said, Hey man, Andrew, man, I'm looking at the land bank and uh I'm saying, where you at? If I would have known a day earlier, I would have got here a lot sooner. You know? <laughs> African member from the oil field, you know, the YouTuber. Yeah, he he was right here in Memphis, but I didn't get here in time, so I didn't know he was coming. But uh, yeah, man, he looking for he looking for investment property right here in Memphis. I don't know if you want me to tell y'all that, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Got me one. Okay, well, you went to some investor. You know what I'm saying? We need to meet up there. You about the money. I'm about the money. It's not really a lot of people around me uh, physically that's, you know, into the investments. But uh, Andrew, Andrew need to figure out. Okay, flat top got about, <clears throat> a flat top got about 800,000 miles on it. So while the money is good, we need to figure out, okay, well, where is all this money? We need to put it in something. We don't know what, but we need to spread it out into something that's going to, uh, when the flat top goes down for the count, you know what I'm saying? We ain't really caring, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it didn't did its job. It didn't serve its purpose in life. Yeah. Just saying, a whole lot of thinking, a whole lot of thinking. Tomorrow's Monday, too. Tomorrow is Monday, and uh, I got my laptop in front of me. I'm supposed to have full access I ain't got full access yet. They told me Monday. So I'm already here at the house. I'm right here. I'm saying laptop chill, laptop in front of me. Got my desk going on right here. I'm just saying. I I'm waiting. I'm right here in front of the laptop. Soon as they say, you can log on. I'm be right here to see if it's worth it. Because I seen the cameras. And damn, I, I, man, huh? Man, I seen the cameras and man, that is not what's up. I just had to take a test on the cameras. That's how I seen them. <laughs> they made, yeah, they made us take a. They made, we got we got to take a quiz on the new cameras. So if y'all work in my company and y'all want to see what the cameras look like, go take the quiz that you got to take. You know what I'm saying? If you want to continue getting lows, this past <laughs> it's front facing and driver facing. It's horrible. It's, it's, it's just horrible. I'm just going to go ahead and say it's horrible. It's driver facing. It's horrible. Driver and front facing. 
Then you got the, the window cameras. Whew, man, that's a lot to deal with. That is a lot to deal with. Um, the camera facing the driver. What, 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 what purpose does that serve? I'm just trying to figure out, you know, let's say Andrew um, crashes the flat top. I crash the flat top. They're going to review this um, driver facing footage. What are they going to find out? I mean, I don't know. I just don't know what good could come out of it. Because let's just say I was holding the steering wheel and being this awesome driver when I crashed the truck. Okay, they see me holding the steering wheel. But it's still my fault. So what purpose does it serve? If I ran in the back of somebody, they look at the drive, face the camera, they look at me, they just see me holding the steering wheel, running in the back of somebody. Well, is that going to save me from anything? No, it's just, no, it's not going to save me at all. The only thing it's going to do is, let's just say I hit the cell phone up to my ear and slammed in the back of them. Okay, well, that's just more charges they can just tack on. <laughs> that's all it's going to do, just more charges they can tack on. But uh, I don't know, man. Somebody tell me. Have y'all, have anybody with driver facing cameras had a wreck and it saved them? I ain't talking about somebody to cut you off. And no, no, no. You don't need no camera at all. And uh, fuck it. I ain't. What's the point of me explaining? I don't want the shit, period. You know what I'm saying? If I got to do the shoe shine, then what you show me tomorrow need to be good because if it ain't, got the brake cleaner fluid ready.